musician Maurice Kiria has started an initiative which is the Maurice Kiria Fans Club. Today we have Maurice Kiria on Zoom who is going to explain to us more about his Fans Club and uh, this initiative you know involves paying a subscription fee which he's going to explain more in detail right here on Zoom. Hello Maurice, are you online? Yes, I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's always a pleasure to see you on our show. Thank you for taking the time off to be with us today. All right, Maurice, now, um, not, f not a few, not even a month ago, we, we were talking about um, your shows. We've seen you launching a show last year. You also did an up close and personal at the National Theatre, which people really enjoy your music. And of course, it shows that you have a big fan base. Now, Morris, you have actually started up a new initiative, uh, the Morris Career Fan Club. Um, we would like for you to, first of all, introduce yourself to the people, greet our viewers, and also introduce to us your new initiative. Wow, Robin, it's very nice to be back on air with you. Thank you for having me. And yes, indeed, recently we did get to talk, and uh, I had the show at uh, Serena and, of course, at the National Theatre. And I can tell you, I'm still overjoyed. And for the people that don't know me, my name is Maurice Kiria, an artist here in Uganda for the last 24 years. And I do a style of music called Moyo, and I'm an actor as well. And my little background is that um, I've had a very strange kind of music that has had a very loyal following and, and fun this. And with that, I, I wanted to appreciate my fans by starting something that is a membership club. And I'm happy to talk about it. Wow. Now, um, we've been seeing it on social media. We've been seeing it, especially on Facebook. You made a post that entails all the details of what do you get if you join uh, the Morris Curia Membership Club. Uh, now, can you take us, can you take us in a little bit into, is it the Morris Curia Fans Club or the Morris Curia uh, what is what? What are you calling it it's, exactly? It's, it's a, it's a I'm calling it a membership club, and of course, we will officiate uh, the title for it. Mm -hmm. But it's more of just a club where anybody gets in. It's not that. It's really for like-minded art uh, people that like this kind of music, this kind of genre, the kind of things that I stand for. The kind of it's it's an arts community that we can use good music good presentation, professionalism, great quality to actually do some good in the country. So it's not just about those fans that feel they understand who Maurice Kiria is and the music, but it's also for those fans who believe that with this kind of membership organization or initiative, we can actually do so much more using the arts, the community spirit to actually do some good in the country. Right now, your membership club has a membership fee attached to it. And it also has um, different um, things you can get from when you pay this membership. Right. Can you detail these yes. down for us? Indeed. Unlike the many times where people come for many shows in the year and each show being about 250000 we've changed that for our loyal fans and membership. They get to pay 250000 a year and then they have access to all the shows that I organize or my company, Peas and Ports, organizes in the year, they don't only have access, but they can actually bring a plus one. So imagine having paid only 250000 a year, but then you can also bring a friend to the show. And for the people that are members of this club, they're always VIP. Any show that I do, they get the first priority information, VIP treatment. They're always going to be on a VIP table. They're always going to be on front row. And they get to be a part of something bigger where collectively we get to do some good uh, in our country using that community. All right. Now, um, I feel like you have taken the music industry onto another level. Uh, where do you get this kind of template from or where do you get this idea from? You know, we, uh, Robin, I, 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 my, my music is not uh, my music is not necessarily the kind of music you hear on radio a lot. And then I wondered then how is it that I was the first show in, the, in Serena and all my shows sell out and I have such a huge fan base. So it just meant that there are people that want this and they want to belong. 
just like I know that I perform for those kind of funds, this template is something I've been thinking about for a while because it's the only way I can show my fans that I appreciate them by creating something that is, is exclusively for them. Now, um, I'm sure you do have already a fan club as uh, you know, normally on social media, you have fans of yours that will create a group for themselves to make sure that they are rooting for Morris Kiria. What has been their feedback yeah. after hearing this? Because I know you have a lot of diehards. It has been crazy. And, and what's been tough is there are people that can afford this membership, but we know they don't want this music. So we've had to actually make people prove that they've been to the shows, they know the music, so that we're creating a community of people that are like-minded and this is what they want. So most of those fans have actually reached out and sent messages. They've reached out to my team at Peas and Pots and we've embraced them and we're happy that they're coming on board. But I, I have to also add, Robin, that this is also good for an artist. I want to encourage other artists who actually try this out because it's better than just waiting to do one show or two shows a year. But when an artist knows that they have a community that looks out for them and they look out for it, it's easier for them to create in a safe space, knowing that it's, it's, it feels family oriented. And you as it's the artist, yeah, and you as the artist who has come up with this kind of um, initiative, how does it make you feel yeah. to see that actually people are eager to be part of it? They're eager to send their payments in. How does this make you feel? Um, I'm humbled. I'm grateful because uh, I don't take it for granted to have been in this industry for so many years doing the things I like uh, the way I do them. I don't take it for granted. And the same level of joy that they've given me is what I want to give them back, especially with the experiences we'll have, whether we do the Kiria Live show, which always happens at Serena, all the other shows that we put around. So even the other partnerships that we have with other brands, I want to show my fans that if something comes up and I feel like my fans should be at that event, I'm sending one email and it's going out to them. They have a QR code and they can just turn up at that event, even if I'm not there. If I feel like I have that power in an event somewhere, I just want to show them that I appreciate them as much as they have appreciated me. Amazing, beautiful. Uh, now, can you give them a sneak peek of what they might see next year, what to expect next year? Because I'm sure some of them are out there and they still haven't understood the concept of this. Um, what should they yeah. expect or a sneak peek of what's coming up uh, on the Curious calendar next year? Yeah. This year. <laughs> this year. Yes, yes, um, my bad. This year we definitely, yeah, we definitely have, of course, we have the Curious Live event that happens at Serena. We have other shows that we've planned up. We have other projects that we did not explain online because we didn't want to promise too much, but we have other things that we've set up for our members. And uh, of course, we've asked people to inbox us. And of course, we do ask for a little bit of proof. But if anyone is a member, then they know they are part of a community that's wild, that's classy, that's progressive. And these events will happen and they will always be VIP. They get first hand priority. Uh, they get bus, they passes, and all the good, good, good stuff. So, if somebody comes on board, luckily it's very affordable. I mean, imagine paying two hundred and fifty thousand shillings for a year, and you have access to all these things. It's just the only way I could show them that I appreciate them. All right. Now, finally, how does one sign up to be part of the fan club? And also, your final remarks to your viewers. Yes, um, obviously um, anyone can write us uh, on our social media platforms, Maurice Kiria or Maurice Kiria Music. And on there, there's an email info at peasantports.com. That's my company that does all my events. And they can reach out to us. And unfortunately, we have limited slots because you can't have everybody in the membership club because you run out of ways to you know, fit people in certain venues. So it's limited. Just reach out to us and my team will get in touch with you and we'll make it happen. And um, my last remarks is, is actually not um, just to my fans. Obviously, I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you, but it's to my fellow artists to, to, to borrow a leaf. There's nothing wrong with trying out these, 
these ideas. When I did the show at the National Theater recently, right after I had a sold out show at Serena, it definitely, it obviously wasn't for money, but it was to show that we do have all these other venues where we can put shows. My heart is with the artists to see that artists progress and have sustainable ways of making money and also being one with their fans. So I would like to encourage artists there who are established and also those who are not established to find your audience, find your niche, find those people that like what you do and show them that you appreciate them and create something like this. And if you need help from me, I'm more than happy to sit with you because if you do well, I do well. If I do well, you do well. And this is the kind of industry we need in Uganda. All right, Maurice, thank you so much. And we wish you all the best of luck in 2024, of course. And we hope that all the spaces are filled up for your membership club. I hope so. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Maurice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Maurice Kiria. And uh, if you haven't yet heard about um, his initiative of his fan club or membership club, you better get to know about it.